Today we are performing a PDO thread cheek lift. As you can see, we use various items to perform this procedure. After we have marked our client appropriately, in order to know where the threads should go to achieve the look that is desired, we numb the area with lidocaine. After that is done, we create a hole that the threads will be inserted into and place in a proper plane to help create the lift our client desires. As the threads are being placed, we inject lidocaine along the track to continuously provide numbing medication for comfort. Through slow injections, and careful placement of the threads, we are able to do this procedure with little discomfort, if any at all. As you can see, our client is lying here comfortably as I provide the treatment. I place a series of threads into the area where the lift is desired. Once the threads are placed, the cannula that houses the thread will be removed and in its place a PDO thread will be left and in the coming weeks to months the thread will dissolve stimulating collagen and providing a nice maintenance of the client's lift and also stimulation of new collagen which will help to rebuild the tissue integrity underneath the skin. As we age, we lose the ability to make collagen readily compared to when we are younger. Therefore, collagen stimulating procedures are always preferred, in my opinion, to help clients get to the look they desire. Continue to sit back and watch as the threads are being carefully placed in both the left and the right cheek areas to help our client achieve the look that's desired. Remember, when learning how to place threads, it's important to understand the proper plane that they should be placed in. Having a good grasp of facial anatomy, including vital structures, vessels, tissues, becomes essential to achieving the results that are desired and that you are pleased with as the injector. Also ensuring as you're doing the procedure that your client's comfort is always taken into account and maintained in order to get the results that you would like. As you can see now, the threads are placed and I'm engaging them so with my hands place, underneath the skin so that the barbs sense. that are on the PDO threads will help to adhere to the tissues underneath the client's skin and ultimately holding the lift in place. The key is to create the desired lift through molding and proper placement of the threads so that as they break down and dissolve, you maintain the look that you're ultimately wanting. Carefully engaging the barbs underneath the skin helps to ensure this. Now the same procedure is done on the opposite side of the face. Threads are placed along the plane that has been demarcated and inserted into the right area of the face. We continue to provide numbing medication as we go throughout the procedure to ensure that our client is comfortable. 
I like to check the placement of my threads continuously as I'm going along the track to ensure I'm in the right plane and that I am placing the thread exactly where I would like it to go. Once the threads are placed, again, I engage the barbs to allow the tissues to hold on to the threads. This is our client before the procedure, and this is her afterwards, with nicely lifted upright cheeks that have brightened her face. As you can see, she has a nice contour lines that have been reestablished, and she looks refreshed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please continue to like and subscribe and follow us here for more content. Thank you.